My next guest was a standout on Dancing with the Stars last year, and we all know and love her from nine seasons on The Office. Let's get Kate Flannery on the line right now. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, Kate. What's up, girl? Yeah. Yes. Um, I, you, I, you, I, look, you look great. Um, we both look a little different um, than the last time we saw each other. Just a little bit, yeah. It just yeah. It happens during these times. I thought we were still doing the Halloween thing. Last time I saw you had a wig on, so. You know what? I, you know, challenge accepted. I think on our show we should do costumes more often. Um, but no, you didn't have to wear a costume. <laughs> so, so <laughs> I didn't want you to think I just, I, you know, I, it's, I, I haven't been to the beauty parlor either, so. <laughs> the mustache is full on. Well, earlier this year, um, you were on um, Dancing with the Stars tour, right? That's a huge I tour. Was, I was. I got to do uh, 45 of our 54 shows, but then, of course, we got yeah. to the road. But, you know, I'm really proud of myself because I'm, I'm 55 years old. I'm like a 15-year-old trapped in a 55-year-old body, Kelly. I mean, Aren't we all? It was so exciting, though. Like, we huge audiences, you know, I mean, so many great fans. It was really insane. It was really wonderful. Yeah, I mean, and what's cool, though, is at least y'all got to do most of the tour. Like, yeah. every, you know, yeah. a lot of people didn't get to do anything. That's really cool. Yeah. But, and, like, for people to get to come see y'all live, and, like, it's yeah. so entertaining what you do, and it's such an athletic thing that, you know, all of us, like, close our eyes and, like, yeah, I'm totally Jennifer Gray and Dirty Dancing, but then, like, <laughs> real life will, like, not happening. Um, okay, wait, I have to show you something, because, okay, you sent me this doll. And everybody, there's been a lot of people doing like tribute stuff to you because we looked into, there are a lot of people that do tributes to you. And that's such a compliment. But this oh, doll is amazing. It's a Meredith Casual Friday doll. That's what it, it's a pop, Funko Pop doll. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane. I know, I know. We could, we could have a little conversation. I, I got mine. It's out. It's insane. Um, you know what? I, they, they just started working on The Office uh, this past year and I was literally at my, my boyfriend's son's uh, high school graduation in Everett, and we stopped at the Funko store in Everett, Washington, and they were like, hey, come with me. And then they showed me the Michael Scott Funko Pop, and they're like, we're starting. So one year later, um, Casual Friday Meredith appears. <laughs> that's, a, that's so cool. This, I don't know if you've seen this yet, but this is a chalk painting of Meredith. Oh my gosh. All chalk. It's fr from the Lice episode of The Office from season uh, season nine when Meredith shaved your head. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Benjamin Franklin, but that's okay. That's okay. It's it's okay. That, that is so funny. Oh my God. But that's to, to like impact someone enough to do that on like, I, I'm not even, I don't even know how these people do this like chalk art. It is insane to me. Um, so but for the office too. this one's I've really, I mean, coming from a quilter that's totally not even average. I'm like basic Betty good. Um, this is amazing. Like you're a more, you're, you're immortalized in needlepoint, which is not easy. That's so cool. Yes. Jamie, that she was an, a dancing with the stars fan. That's me and my dance partner, Pasha Poshkop. Yeah. She gave it to me on the tour. I actually have a copy of it too. She made a few of them. She made that, like, That's so cool. I mean, I I've received many gifts, you know, like in the and in, in just from fans because over the years and like that's really cool. That takes time. That's not just like yes, she's. I I've met her. Yeah, we I, we met. I think we met in South, North Carolina, one of the shows. And then wow. so this crazy Meredith doll, which I think is really more like a Barbie doll, because my face is, has never been this beautiful. Maybe it was <laughs> <You're dumb. laughs> No, that's amazing. I love it. That's, it's so funny, like how people, you know, they, they're like, oh, I love this person, how in, in their own line of work, they kind of, you know, um, get to kind of lift you up and, and, and praise someone that they love that has impacted them or made them laugh or, you know, they've been able to be their escapism. It's cool how that comes out in like many different forms. I'm really, you know, I'm so grateful. I love that. And I love that you, you see that, like, it's such a, I don't know. I know we've both met people or know people that forget how blessed they are yeah. and, 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 you know, aren't counting the blessings and counting the, you know, mistakes or things they didn't get. And it's like, it's really cool that you, you recognize that. Like, because we're all lucky. Everybody, every, we, we're all replaceable. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could be right. doing what we're doing, you know? So um, it's, it's really cool that you, you recognize that and you're having fun. That's the coolest thing about talking to you, Kate. Every time I talk to you, you like genuinely have, and your boyfriend told me this a while back when he was um, a photographer for The Voice. And, 
he's like, you and my girlfriend have a lot in common because we, we are both very like energetic and, and I try to be positive and I try to always focus on like what I have. So positive. You're so great. You're so great. No, but that's, that's what I, I love about you as well. I think, I think it's not easy. And I think people think you just come out that way and you don't, it's like something you have to work at and, um, and, and really, you know, keep perspective and you're so cool. Like, oh, everything you. Oh my yeah. God, right back at you. But I really think getting older, it's like you either get smarter or you get dumber. And it gets easier, I think. I don't know. I think, you know, yeah. I've always kind of been this person, but like for some reason it's, it's, it's gotten easier, like the older I get. And it's not that you don't care. It's that you care about what's important, I think. Right, right. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, these times are so, so challenging for so many reasons. I mean, I feel like it's, mm. you know, it's, it's time to focus on the change that's happening in the world and accept that there's so many things that are not, are not right. I, I made a decision to donate part of my cameo uh, proceeds to the NAACP and just, just, you yeah. know, get to sleep at night and, and feel like, and whatever more I can do, I, I'm learning. Mm -hmm. I'm learning every day. No, that's what I did too. I'm, that was my big thing. I was like, okay, so instead of, you know, I, I do what I can and where I can, but I think a lot of it is, and a lot of the problem is, is that don't try and understand like you're never going to understand like where someone's coming from if it's such a different perspective from you such a different life such a, a different view just listen and listen to them on how maybe things can improve and I think if we all just did that a little more you know it it would work and we'd finally see the change that so many people have fought and died for Kelly you're awesome you are too. I love talking. Thank you for doing my show again. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.